Vlog it up. Comments all replied to. G7X. Bag. Let's go. Wasn't born to be a fighter. Aiming higher. With the F is lighter. When I saw myself inside another. Then I knew what I had to do. No, I needed to fight for you. Ears turn words into silence. Running with no guidance. Lovers without love. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This morning I am in Oxford Street for one reason. And that's because I'm going to some kind of photography gallery. Very excited for this trip. Very, very excited. One day, feel her go cold. I've arrived at a place called La Pen Quotidian. I think that's how you pronounce it. The menu is very expensive, even for my standard. And also, they don't have a unisex toilet. I'm in a disabled toilet. What is this? So give me something real. Give me something true. Give me something painful. Something I can feel. If this is how it ends. If this is where it dies. If this is where my heart breaks. I need to make it feel. So give me something real. Ooh, just give me something. It may have been quite expensive. The quality of the food and the amount of food for the price was reasonable, but I do think the price should have been a tad a bit less. So it's now time to finally go into the gallery. About time, I say. Sundays get heavy as a boulder, a soldier, five years older. Heads got stuck in the game. I'm now out of the photo gallery, and to be honest, my expectations of the photo gallery were quite high, and the gallery in reality was quite low. My expectations for the food was quite low, but in reality, it was quite high quality. Isn't it funny how sometimes things that you don't expect in life turn out completely different? I'm just, I, 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 I honestly, I'm speechless. However, this afternoon, I have got one last thing to do here in London today. And it includes a hospital, but not any old hospital, the Hormone Doctor Hospital. This week celebrates 12 months of me on hormone blockers. I have to go to the hospital for my annual checkup. Just had a very, very quick bus journey to Warren Street of which the hospital is based on. Initial thought, very excited, but also a bit nervous. Here we go. I set out on a road that I built with my own two hands. Bone density scan went extremely, extremely well. I really, really enjoy having bone density scans. I find it the best part because the rest of the day just goes fully vroom and stressful. It went very well, I feel. I now have about an hour and a little bit more before my next medical appointment, which is the deciding factor on whether I start oestrogen or not start oestrogen. But in the meantime, I think I might try and get some food. Just had a quick lemonade here at the Japanese canteen, but time to head back to the hospital. Decision time is now. Strong in the sun as I walked on to Pastor's Creed. Saw forgiveness together, spaces in between. So I've just finished off in the London hospital place and spoke about hormones and blockers and all of that amazing stuff. Also, I've noticed I have this awful spot here. I'll just talk like this for the rest of the day. It'll be much better. However, I have taken your feedback and of course my own personal way on how I feel about the matter. And I can confirm some stuff 
in tomorrow's vlog. I wouldn't want to talk about it out in public, especially in the middle of a London high street. But the time is currently quarter past six in the PM, which means it is time for a dinner slash kind of meal for me. I am hungry. I need food. I'm a growing teenager. Please feed me. Honest Burgers looks decent and honest. an amazing meal at Honest Burgers this evening. But time to head back to the station because it's time to go on the train. Baby, we're children of summer. We're meant to be free. Party, we're not like the others. No reason to be. In my ventures, they brought me to places I've never been. Time is currently 7, 20, 20, 21 in the PM. I think I lost you somewhere between 20 and 23. But I still hold you dear despite the heartbreak you caused in me. Cause you were with me through my night. The time is currently 10 past 9 in the p.m. and it's time to head back home. The door's locked. So I want to quickly talk about something. And it's in a similar note to what I said after the art gallery about how sometimes the things that I thought were going to be good go good and sometimes the things that I think are bad go well. Let me expand on that very quickly. And I don't really want to be talking about hormones and blockers and all that kind of jazz. I want to kind of cover the topic of how I went into my hormone meeting. It didn't go exactly how I had in mind. However, it was fairly successful. But more info about that tomorrow. Now, I had some sort of expectation on how this meeting would go. And to be honest, I felt a bit awkward, like, more awkward than I usually am. And that's not a good thing when you're trying to convince someone that you're good enough to go on oestrogen. Now, I thought, oh, it'd be pretty chillax. Oh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I felt as if I was on the spot all the time and I was just... Ugh. Now I understand that the whole process involves me doing me stuff and making sure that it's me wanting to transition and no one's forcing me to. Now you guys will be like, wait, Hannah, everyone knows that you're transitioning. No one's forcing you. You daily vlog. This is something that you want to do. And that is correct. If you're a frequent viewer of this show, then you'll know that it is me. No one's forcing me to pick up a camera, talk about my transition or to transition in general. No one's forcing me to do that either. Now, if you have been following me, then you know everything. But if you're not, and you're some kind of doctor, and you don't have time to watch YouTube videos, unless you are watching this now, doctor person that said you're gonna watch my videos, hi. I don't expect my doctors to watch my videos. I don't expect that. And I understand completely that they're in a position where they're acting as if they don't know me, and they're meeting me for the first time, and I have to pass some kind of mental quiz. But me personally, I felt really awkward, and I, I don't know what happened. I just... Ooh. <laughs> so my bone density went very well and I expected it to go very well. I then had a medical kind of appointment and I didn't expect to have a blood test, but I had a blood test. I then had a one-to-one -one session with my person from Tavistock. Tavistock's the gender clinic for young children. And I wasn't expecting that but it went very well. So then it was followed by this really awkward one with this person that was like a head doctor about the hormones who has to give me the consent form about starting hormones. That was the awkward meeting. But out of all the meetings today, I thought that was gonna be the easiest meeting that I was gonna have. Now, while I've been talking about all of this, some things have arrived in the post, such as this very hammock. Tomorrow's vlog's gonna be quite interesting. 
And as well as this item, check out tomorrow's vlog. I am going to be pre-hyping tomorrow because it is going to be very interesting. It is the Q&A Thursday. The Thursday meeting was cancelled this week. As well as talking about what happened today. As well as installing... Oh, I dropped stuff. The new stuff. But right now, my entire day's been zum zum zum. It's time for me to have me time. Baby, we're children of